Hi and welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to make nice smoked glass. Uh, I have an example here of uh, Armani perfume where I can see some nice smoked glass here where I can see some of the detail down here and up here and so on. And today I'm going to show you how you can do this in Lightwave. Now let's drag this out here and I'm going to show you here the perspective view here of my model. I've made a model here. Uh, we're using sub patches, and I have used um, the old uh, traditional way of making glass in Lightwave. Um, if you look here, I have an outside model of the, the glass, and I have an inside model of the glass, which is going to use for the refraction, and then I have here for the liquid in the bottle. And these three are sub patch models which I put together in one model. This is just for explanation so you can see how this model is built up. So I have a normal glass surface and I have the air surface which is uh, inverted inside of the, the bottle here and I have my liquid here. So let's get back to layout here. Uh, as you see here I have right now this model here. Let's render a test frame here. And you can see that I have a almost white bottle here due to the light and so on, but there's no real surfacing but the an image map I mapped on the bottle here. So I go into my surface editor here and I'll select my glass which is the outside of the bottle here. I let it stay here at the 200 because um, we need some some smoky glass here, and uh, let's give this some specularity here and some reflection here and some transparency. Now I don't want this to be be all transparent, but just for show we can do here now and uh, make a little test here. Um, index of refraction 1.33, um, and that's about it. If I now then go to the air surface here, all I need to do here is everything at zero b b b except uh, diffuse here and I need to turn transparency to 100 and leave index of refraction. Uh, that's because when the light passes through the glass it needs to uh, change the index of refraction level of the lights to get a proper glass with the old method here. So. Um, that's it for now. If I tick live render here, you'll see I have some pretty standard glass here. And inside here you see the liquid that I placed within. As you see here, this is pretty normal glass, not smoky glass like this, but pretty normal glass. So. I'll go in here and I'll say perfume here. I'll put this to say 98 and 1. Point, say 06. So it's a little different from the glass in the the refraction. Also, I'll add in here some color filter um, to get the color uh, in the, in the liquid of the perfume. Because if you have transparent materials, you can't really see the color or except if you put color filter in. Um, and then I'll go into glass here again, and I'll go into environment. Then here, I'll need to uh, change some parameters here, like uh, reflection burial. blurring. Uh, I'll set that to 20. So what the the glass reflects will be blurred out and not sharp as normal, and also to the re refraction. Now for those of you who don't know what refraction is, that is the distortion that happens when you look through glass. Now if you look at something through glass, you'll see it's getting kind of distorted. That's what uh, refraction is doing, and we need to blur that out also. Uh, and I'll give this a high value of 60. 
also here on the the air surface I'll uh, set the refraction blur to a little lower but to uh, to 40 here like this and let's check my perfume here I've already set this glass da -dun, da -dun, da -dun, and glass air let's see if not this is working here I'll render here And of course this will take a little while, but I think I can see already now that this is a good way, as I expected. Let's just finish this analyzing. And there we go. As you see here, there's a bit of grains in the, the surface at the moment, also in the reflec reflection and so on. That's due to uh, the anti-aliasing level right now. I'll render a little test in a minute. But as you see right here, we're getting pretty close now. So, we need some more anti-aliasing to, uh, to smooth this out. So, I'll just go to my properties here and say Put two here and rises to three, and I might pause this if it's, this takes too long time. But uh, I'll be back when it's done rendering. So let's hit render here and see what's going on. Because we are going to get a lot more of anti aliasing now. Yes, I think I'll pause this here and uh, I'll be back when this is done rendering in a few minutes or so. And we'll come back. As you see now, uh, the model here is from the new render. Uh, let me show you the old one here. You see the grains all over the surface and then the reflection down here. But if you see the new render, you can see it's a lot smoother here. And uh, we are getting pretty close to the original bottle here. Of course the top here needs some surfacing and so on, but this is just for the glass part. So, this is a, a way of making nice smoky glass. Um, you can also use this technique to make uh, like sandblasted patterns on, uh, on glass objects and glasses and windows and whatnot. So, um, I hope you can use this and uh, see you around.